Before I go kill my dogs, I thought I would introduce you to someone. This is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is Carol's DSLR. It's about 10 years old. It, it was really nice when we first got it. It's still pretty good now. Um, I do all the photography for the show um, with this camera, basically. And I'm happy with the results. Um, but I'm going to be upgrading this camera next year. And I want to see if anybody has any suggestions. I want something that can do video. Absolutely. Must have. It's got to do at least 1080p at 60 frames a second. Or if not, 4K. 4K is probably going to be out of my price range. Uh, I definitely want under 1,000. <laughs> um, but I'd love to transition some videos over to a camera like that. Like I mean, I know I got the other, you know, the handheld video camera and stuff like that, but that'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> I've heard they're phenomenal for shooting. The, there's a Kodak and there's a Nikon, and they're both pretty good from what I understand. But 4K, I'm starting to see some videos pop up out here. Unfortunately, from what I understand, YouTube doesn't support 60 frames a second. I've recorded some videos at 60 frames a second that look just ultra unbelievable, like the quality. The camera I have, it's not bad. For stability, I'm very impressed. Like, it's got this, like, floaty feature about it. <laughs> I'm sure all you, I'm sure Brad, if he ever watches this, is going to be like, Oh, the floaty feature? You like that? You like the floaty feature? The 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 lens, I don't know if you can see it or not. Probably not. Like slowly kind of evolves to where it should be. I don't know if I'm explaining that right or not. But it gives it a more uh, smoother, crisper look. Like, like there's not a lot of this going on. I was going to say something terrible. I'm glad I didn't. I'm going to see if I can get a light for this, though. A light would be phenomenal. Uh, it would add a lot. Because right now in the dark, it does not shoot so well. I tried doing a lot the night that uh, Pete was here and everybody was hanging out. <laughs> no luck. It just didn't come out. I couldn't. I could. Sometimes, like, uh, there was one moment that it did come out and it looked really good. But the lighting had to be just perfect. I gotta figure out where I changed the frames per second on this damn thing. Because I had it set to 24, because at least I knew 24 I could upload and it would look fine. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is Beavis and Butthead. Alright, we're doing movie. Okay. Yeah, that looks nice. But that's not 60 frames per second. Image quality and size. Here we go. Highest. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, highest quality. Okay. Oh, damn it. Shit. <laughs> Is this fun? This is a good video, huh? I'm probably going to put this up there. Ah, here we go. Now, what is the difference between 60i and 60p? I imagine progressive is better than interlaced based on TVs. So, I will go with 60p. Shoots in double the general frame number versus generally use the setting. Well, I want to see what 60 frames 60p does. Why doesn't it save? Oh, I have to hit next. When shooting uh, huh. I see now. So, cannot save the DVD in 60p image quality. I don't know. I don't know what's better. You gotta help me out, guys. Come on. Oh, lighting's definitely not good. It needs to be more exposure, at least. Oh, there we go. Let's take a look at this. Let's do some recording with this. And bada, bada. <laughs> That's a funny thing. This records in 5.1, too, which is pretty neat. Am I going to splice this video together? Most likely not. Maybe I'll just upload it twice. Anyway. Oh, you're not going to get the damn 60p. That sucks. Anywho. For you, it's goodbye. Because I just want to test this. And for you, I don't know why we say goodbye. We say hello. Hello.
Hello. <laughs> All right. Now this is the process. See, this is another process too. It's hopefully this USB hub works and the whole thing. And I can just oh, it did good. <laughs> I can just copy the files over some of this. So you don't even understand how many applications want to try to open up every time I plug in an SD card or a USB stick. It's it's disgusting. I don't think that's the right word. It's funny that the default file format on here is uh, like well the, the folder format is private <laughs> AV CHD which makes sense BDMV then I gotta go to stream 27 okay. uh -uh. <laughs> okay it looks pretty neat on that screen I think 1080i will make more sense though you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just feel like that. Like that's how big is that? That's only 91k. That's teeny. That's what. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're experimenting. We're learning together. Oh Jesus! Why does it have to be so loud? <laughs> such a funny thing. The motion, it's yeah. The camera's like really nice. Which is pretty neat. Oddly though, when I look at this screen, the one that I'm recording with the Logitech looks better. The light, the colors. Yeah, be 60i. I think you need better lighting. I really do. With this camera, it's a pretty good camera, but I think it needs better lighting. I just like the fact that I can pull the card out and load my media back and forth and move things around. Actually, I could probably just plug it in. There's actually a built-in USB thing here on this, which is neat. I never knew about that. I've had this camera a long time, too. It's funny, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Not a bad little thing. I like it. But if I could have this do what that does, oh, shit. You'd see a lot of stuff. You'd see a lot more videos uh, a lot with the kids and everything like that. Because I really love taking pictures with this. It's, it's, I mean, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But it's not bad. <laughs> not bad at all, my friends. Oh. <laughs> it's fun. Art is fun. Art is life, and life is fun because fun is life, and life is art. <clears throat> this isn't bad. Dollar ninety-five find. <laughs> uh, if I find tripods now, I look very closely at them to see what they can do. Because if I could get a remote one, that would be nice. If I could get uh, one with um, steady cam features that would be nice. Like, I don't know. I really like to do more with video. Um, I find it really fun. It's exciting. I could do that for life, a living. So, if you know any entry level camera physicians, or let me know. Tweet at me, my friends. I'm still getting used to the Twitter. So it's definitely a new thing. A new thing for me. Not bad. Not a bad little thing. It's great for holding it. I do this often. The videos that you see me walking around are usually this. Oh, hello. Words. <laughs> this is what happens, Pete, when the kids leave toys on the floor. Yeah. I have the technology. I'm going to put them back together again. I'll find a way. Found his back piece. Just gotta find his arms. I might have to wait and go through some poop. <laughs> Would you do that if your dog ate something that was important to you? Would you go through their poop? I guess you'd have to if it was that important. Like Spider Man's arms. <laughs> help me! Help me, Jesus! Oh, God! Help me, Tom Cruise! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go murder the dogs now, so I hope you've liked hearing them scratch on the door for the last 
95 videos. <laughs> 95? I didn't realize that tonight. Anywho, this is just a throwaway thing. It, I think it was kind of fun. What do you think? I'll probably do another one. It's 10 minutes. 10 minutes rambling. <laughs> Talking about shit. Play-Doh. Want to talk about Play-Doh? All right. See you next time on the road to 40. Mother I didn't hit stop. <laughs> I thought I hit stop. Oh, it's embarrassing, isn't it? I could edit it, but it's funnier if I don't. I'm going to go find something to eat. I'm hungry.